So we spent a long time playing Devotion Enchantress, a deck that I like a lot and I would still play and would recommend. Um, and I was kind of pondering over all of the cards we've played in the recent set. And I, I remember like my very first draft of Modern Devotion with Leyline and Archdruid's Charm. There was a chatter who asked me why I wasn't main decking Scion. And I was like, Scion in the mono green deck with Leyline? And this was kind of before Leyline Scion took off. And I was like, hmm, I don't, I don't know. But I, after spending some time reworking it, you just can. <laughs> uh, you just play a bunch of... Uh, domain is just kind of easy to splash. And Scion gives you like... A lot of protection for your planeswalkers. Awesome plan B. It draws a card if you have Kiora in play. And kind of kind of in the same way that it makes a lay it makes Leyline a lot better in the in the in the Enchantress deck. Leyline is also does two things. It's good with Nykthos and good with Scion in this deck, which I think is pretty important. Um and so this is a deck I've been mulliganing. Also, another huge thing that Scion does is it makes makes stirrings awesome where like in the past like you really just wanted one more power powerful card to find up stirrings where you had karn and ring and nykthos and being able to dig for karn ring nykthos is great but you really wanted like four more and scion is four more and so stirrings being able to find like really all of your bangers or a big chunk of your bangers in addition to just finding a land is i think is i think a really big deal um I, I found that the Storm the Festival build has been performing for me the best off stream compared to the Archdruid's Charm build. Um, I tried for a while cutting Archdruid's Charm for Overgrowth. Overgrowth is a card I sincerely, sincerely missed. This is this is like just quietly your other Nykthoses. It turns Kior like having having Nykthos Utopia Sprawl Overgrowth in your decks makes both Kior and Karn like awesome, awesome mana generating cards that you hit off Storm and just ca ca go through your deck, combo off. Garrick is like. Garrick is just weirdly so good in this deck too. Um, I I find that you really want to have a Leyline or a Utopia Sprawl in your opening hand too, if you are, especially if you're on the draw. All right, the sand has tons of mana. Also, I've been like cycling the Triumphs in this deck. <laughs> uh, I've been cycling the the Triumphs. We need to pay off. Nykthos would be nice. We do have a lot of mana, even with, even without a Nykthos, thankfully. Scion, of course. Nice top deck, too. Also, very very nice to just have four stirrings to dig for your big card advantage top decks. Since consistency has always been such a issue with Devotion. Up against Hammer... We also have a surveil land in the deck. Yeah, I don't. I have lost my god account, and I took the dogs to the vet this morning, so did not get to update the basics. All right, so next round we'll have six mana, four overgrowth and forty toughness, but not Arbelf. Just wondering why. Uh, Arbelf sucks mostly. It's a bit better now with less bowmasters in the format, but I, I would play delighted halfling over Arbelf. Uh, it was just making your stuff uncounterable is awesome, and having two toughness is awesome. There, there are less bowmasters, but there's also more red and sixes with creativity being back. Um, I think you could eat, t t honestly, you could maybe sideboard Arbor Elf against like linear matchups, like against Tron and Titan. You would really like them, but those are kind of the only matchups where they really do a lot. My opponent finds a hammer. I'm only gonna have six mana, which I guess like a little short of um explosives on one crack it. I guess I could haywire might. Probably haywire might here. So I'm going to play my fetch line and not crack it because I may still want to surveil. We'll just go Karn might insulated from a cauldron. A lot of options next turn. I was playing a little bit off stream with um, a Phyrexian 
shoot, concussed. The the six the six the nine mana ETB your opponent sacrificed three creatures. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and block and then destroy the this Urza saga. And then this turn we have seven mana right now. So I could draw an untapped land and find a cityscape leveler. Is that that's probably enough reason to not surveil right now. Okay, let's see what we find off the stirrings. We find a ring off the stirrings. So good chance I'm also just gonna like explosives on zero here. Could explosives on one and just hold that up. I'm gonna explosives on zero and then pop it now so that I can surveil off the fetch land. Yeah, so you can play Scion in the sideboard for Karn. I think for Ancient Stirrings count and also like density of nut draws, you should just play the fourth in the main. It is certainly a conversation though. Yeah, one because Utopia's yeah, you just on zero here. Obviously, I, you would love to have one in the sideboard. You, we have a Frexian Metamorph too. I think, but I think Ancient Stirrings is the real tiebreaker, just because you really just want to have a lot of action cards off your Stirrings. Basically, I have you know, one, two, three, four, five draws. Scion definitely better than the average card here. Also, if I find a Kiora off of one of my draws, then get to kind of cantrip with it, which is nice. Did find a Kiora. So let's start off with the Stirrings. Find another copy of the ring. Kiora can also untap my ring, which is a nice little synergy here. But I'm going to go Kiora into Scion first. And then see if I want to... You know, untap, <laughs> untap this forest and make an extra five mana. But it just concedes. It is, uh, it's hard being a hammer player. Can't give him too much shit. Uh, on the mostly don't sideboard in any matchup plan at the moment too. So far, I found when playing the deck, you want to be mulliganing to five really aggressively. Like I'll basically keep like any Utopia sprawl hand, any leyline hand that like looks like it's somewhat functional. Um, like Leyline Ancient Stirrings is always a keep, uh, Leyline Nykthos is a keep, Leyline Scion is a keep, but you just don't want to be keeping mediocre sixes and sevens, you want to be going to five pretty aggressively, and then sometimes you fail on five, and then, you know, you can lose. Yeah, but this, this is a keep for sure. We're gonna get played against MSU's just 20 field again? Well, we have more basics this time, at least. <laughs> oh, but the Cleansing Wildfires, oh, no, not, yeah, I'll just... You're right. I I hope we don't too. Okay. I'm probably gonna play Devotion in the Pioneer season. Also, I I really like Devotion uh, with the Archdruid's Charm deck. I think it's very fun to play. I'm not sure if it's super good. We're getting countered here. Be a big wrench in our deck. Basically, a time walk. Domain is easy splash. Which wild thing be true? Didn't it used to be a significant deck building restriction? Uh huh. Not anymore. <laughs> it is what it is. Fetch lands, baby. It was it was tougher, and then they added triumphs, and it is what it is. Kazara, the fourteen months. Thank you. Welcome back. It's also like you know, to some extent, you know, Scion is a colorless card, and so you know, it's a little it's a little bit interesting the details on the main requirements. So they get hammer instead of cauldra again. Also, no besage you because we're a. Utopia Sprawl deck. We'll cast the Stirrings. I'm gonna find a ring here, I think, over Scion with no Leyline. Have we gotten an exiled Scion back with Karn yet? No, but I've definitely been wanting to. Plays an Urza Saga. Do they have a Sigardizade in their hand? They didn't play one on turn one. 
They have surveilled since then, though. They have an Esper Sentinel. So we have some interesting choices here. We can go like ring, draw three cards, but like probably lose the Kiora next turn. We can just cast Storm the Festival, but this will give my opponent a card off their Esper Sentinel. Um, we draw Overgrowth or something. Did not draw Overgrowth. Uh, we can't we can't car an explosives on one and crack. Not that we necessarily want to, anyways. I make a dono, but use the money to fix your lands. No, sorry, <laughs> is what it is. I'll fix them at some point. Did not have time this morning. Don't like the momentum hit to like have to fix it in the middle of the stream. So you find Garrick Nykthos. Nykthos is mana positive here. But just barely. Um, I could Karn and... Getting Karn down is kind of nice against a possible pure still Paladin. And it's a lot worse against a... It's a lot worse against a Sigardizade, but they they cast the hammer from their hand, so it, it just doesn't seem like Sigardizade is that relevant. And then we'll get a chump blocking Haywire might in play. Not the worst turn three. Mulligan this game, too. Why not add Carthaline to this deck? Uh, Carthaline is, is worse than my other four drops by, I think, a pretty significant amount. Um, so uh, is, it, it doesn't get found off Ancient Stirrings. And it's an extra color. Not that the extra color matters that much, I guess. Karth is also not a super good card. It's okay card. Yeah, no need for Castle Garenbrig. We're not really ramping into creatures. Of course, I do love Castle Garenbrig. Okay, there's a Ginger Brute. Uh, however, cannot be hasted here. Or sorry, it can't be, cannot be made to be unable to be blocked. Is are, are naturally hasted. So everything at Karn. Um, I think keeping Karn in play as a Stony Silence is probably relevant enough for me to block here. And because it will still be in play as Stony Silence, I don't think I need to block the Ginger Brute. Another Storm of the Festival. Let's lead on that. Nykthos and Utopia Sprawl make, both making the same amount of mana. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to activate both my Planeswalkers before casting Storm, because I want to be able to hit other copies of these. That's at least how I've been doing it. The tension, of course, is that if we hit more Devotion off Leyline, we get a little bit punished by not um, using these first. Okay, so not super good hits, but, you know, rewarded for our sequencing a little bit. Um... So do I have enough mana? I should have enough mana to flash back a Storm of the Festival. This is plus four mana. I would have enough. Let me see if I find a Karn off the Stirrings first. Find a Triome. So let's put this in the hand and then... Potentially I'll find a Leyline off of my Storm of the Festival. And another mana source. Um, yeah, we'll take Leyline and Garrick. Keep the new Garrick. And now my Nykthos is tapping for an extra four mana. My Scion will also draw a card off Kiora, which is pretty nice. Uh, how much mana is this? This is eight mana. So let's just start off with the Scion. If I draw another Storm, I can cast Storm again. Can't quite flash back the other copy. Um, okay, so now I guess we'll cast the ring. I think I might still have my land drop available to, like, cast this. Uh, could cast this and untap the ring. Seems okay. Seems good enough to do. Yeah, I did have my land drop for turn. So I can surveil with this. Uh, 
Yeah, I know I still have the card activation. Good. And the card minus next turn potentially to start going crazy. How much mana has been like 25? Probably something like that. I mean, it is the fourth turn after all. <laughs> Any deck can look good against Hammer. Hmm. Deck's kind of weak to Needle on Karn. Oh, they named the One Ring, thankfully. Ugh. I think if they Needled Karn, we can't win. Or, like, we have we have to win with Scion. Maybe that's a problem with the, the deck. Chew on it a little bit. I don't remember ordering anything for mana traders. This is weird. Trying to give me a cityscape leveler. Yeah, I don't have a Besage you because we're a Utopia Sprawl deck, but maybe that matters less because of the Leyline stuff. I just like had too many like I've had I've had several times Besage you Utopia Sprawl Le or not Leyline Besage you Utopia Sprawl. Um. Nykthos, I'm like, I have to fuck a mulligan. This, like, otherwise, like, can't lose hand. So my Karn is gonna die. But just having, you know, more Karns in the deck is kind of the only thing that matters here. Or the main thing that matters. Our ring is needled, but we have a Storm the Festival and tons of mana. Suppose we'd have some bricks now. Garrick over on Science Draco. Yeah, that could be a win, a win con. Okay, could graveyard that for some surveil value, but let's uh, keep the best possible on top and I'm very happy it's there. Uh, um, so I think it's probably better to play Overgrowth. I, I, I can't play, um, I can't play Leyline to activate Nykthos anyways. You may have a card opponent. I'm very generous. And then, just like last time, I'm going to uh, activate both Planeswalkers before I Storm so that I can hit additional copies of them and just keep generating tons of mana. And this is especially easy now because I won't be untapping the One Ring with my Kiora. Is MTG let me fish stick those? I don't think it was, but it may be bugged with Leyline. I would not cheat, though, of course. Okay, so only found mana. We're digging for Karn, of course, here. Can you enchant Nykthos? We can enchant Nykthos, uh, but you don't usually want to because you want to be able to legend rule Nykthos like this. 53 mana in the pool. Well, I could cycle this Triumph. Well, we are still looking for a Karn. I guess I'm going to wait on the Cure Activation because I don't need the extra mana. There it is. Now I'll put on Nykthos for funsies. But we can win in a variety of ways. We can go infinite with our uh, restorative burst combo. But I, my opponent is at 18 life, and I can just and I have 44 mana. So let's uh, cast a walking blister. Is modern dying? I, don't know, I think it's better than it's been in a year, like a year. And MH3 is about to come out. I don't, I don't know if I would say modern is dying. And there's maybe something going on at your LGS, but cannot comment. Hmm. Double tap land is tough. Let's keep this though. I think I'm putting back the Scion. Certainly, this is the trade off for uh, Scion in the stack, because you have hands like this sometimes. So up against Titan. Not a 
certainly, I feel like it's a pretty play draw focused matchup. But also we have kind of a slow hand, so maybe a little concerned here. If I draw an untapped land, I can go Utopia Sprawl into Kiora, into Garrick, into Ring. Uh, pretty punished for not drawing a basic forest. Since they can besage you, my hedge maids now. Let's see what we draw. Storm the festival. So because we know they have besage you, let me not double commit. I think I think I'll just untap and then. Put on the Katria Triome. I could have supposed to have an extra loyalty on the Kiora here. This will probably be fine. They do have a garden, so if they have Bounce Land Titan, we're also getting cooked there. Doing this pretty fast. Yeah, pretty pretty play draw dependent matchup. Which is nice and relaxing at least. Fortunately we're on the wrong side of things here. Game two. Yeah, at least we didn't get besage you. Probably mulligan this one. Oh, this hand's so close. The top card of my library has to be a land. We have to go to five. Reasonable five. I think I put back Overgrowth, Verdant Catacombs, and then hopefully we can Stirrings into a four drop and cast it on turn two. Great five card hand. My opponent is also on five. Pretty weak to force of uh, Vigor here, I guess. Probably should not have said that card's name. Yeah, well, we can find Karn or Ring off this uh, Ancient Stirrings or our, our Draw Step for turn. Feeling pretty good. Didn't get Forest. Alright, so turn 2, 5 mana on our Mold of 5. Ancient Stirrings, please! Okay, we found both. I actually don't know which one I'd rather have. Probably Karn. Turn two Karn is just like so lights out against them. Yeah, not a bad mold of five. It has been a while. Since I stone ran somebody with a Karn. Goldenville Hydra and Pioneer Mono Green Devotion. It'll be interesting to see how that card plays. Um, I I don't have the highest hopes for it, but it could be okay. Did not see you put coding in hand? I don't know. They, they're maybe just going through the motions. I guess not. They could have put a gardens. It's going to be tough for them to get out of this. Yeah, it's going to go to game three. Nice, yeah, nice mold of five. Kind of need a fast hand like that on the draw too. Also, maybe sh should I be cutting the scions? Maybe I should be. Sorry, I probably should cut the scions for like a haywire might. Like a Haywire my the fourth ring, maybe. Something like that. I'm going to mulligan this, actually. We just really need an explosive hand on the draw. And if this was a ley line, obviously. Let's go to five. Believe in the mold of fives. I'm going to go for a storm game. Yeah, I like the Cosmic Rebirth deck a lot. That is a great draw. 
again, very, very plagiarism dependent matchup, and you know we don't have the best hand. What if I draw Overgrowth? Just see what we draw. But I think I, if I drew Overgrowth, I'm casting it next turn, and then we can go Overgrowth into Garrick plus so five plus one. Cure also plus one, which I think would give us exactly enough to storm. We have to do the six months. Thank you. Welcome back. Uh oh. We hate a tank in the second amulet on turn two. If we're not dead this turn, we're probably dead next turn. Not a bad draw. Okay, so next turn I get to go. Land Garrick. Or I suppose I can, it's better to go Cure untap four mana. No, I still I still can't Nykthos after playing the Garrick. Um I think we can storm next turn. So they didn't have six mana last turn. This is only five at the moment. Wandering. Transmute Telaria West. Looks like they're thinking about which one to bounce, which means I think that their hand is probably five spells, and none of them are none of them are Grazer or Explorer. Uh, um, so they bounce, they do bounce the bounce land, and then maybe maybe they have Tidlaria West, maybe they have Ring. They have oh God, dude. If you cast a Titan right now, like how did this turn take this fucking long? Am I doing best cards dungeon video? I'm working on it. <laughs> It'll be out when it's out. How do these turns take so long, brother? I don't know. <laughs> you can untap Nykthos. I can, I, after I play Garrick. Maybe maybe it takes so long because they have... Okay, yeah, not because they have Hasteland Stranded. Okay, let's move on. Right up against another Amulet Gamer, probably. I mean, I'm definitely keeping this hand. Could be on something else. Yeah, back to back. And lost the die roll both times, is what it is. I think we'll go ahead and thin a little bit. There's a really good chance we're winning this game on turn three. But uh, on the draw against Mistaken, I don't know if we'll live that long. All in the same land, of course, for Kiora. So this taps for five. Start off with a Storm of the Festival next turn, and then potentially chain that together into a win. Yeah, at least Mistaken plays fast. Relatively, for Titan gamers. Bounce Land Titan is a kill. Oh, uh, but maybe Mistaken was thinking, do I have enough green? But definitely enough green, just bounce the Sanctuary. We could also tap something else. Ooh, love to see a One Ring here. We still have to hit well off of our Storm. Although we do have the Ring to maybe survive, although Mistaken probably has the Mirror Pool planned. Karn turning off the Ring could be really nice. Just see, let's just see what happens. Okay. So our draw step was not particularly relevant. Our storm was pretty good. Although I'm a little short of flashing back the storm, unfortunately. Didn't you win the Dire Rollers match? No, I did not. I still don't know why Mana Traders gave me that Cityscape leveler. Wait, no, I did? What? I thought for sure I didn't, dude. I'm sorry. I'm concussed. I guess I just had double tap land. <laughs> You're right, I did. 
Kein Cast. So it doesn't seem like I'll be dead here, necessarily. I don't know. I don't think there's enough mana to mirror pull me. Maybe enough. They married to fetching a triumph away fetch percent. I've already played my land this turn. I fetched a thin so I could have like better hits of the storm. Uh, being able to cast Sion this turn would have been relevant, so I'm not sure. So probably besage me, right? Gets double Simic Growth Chamber. Bounces Valakit, bounces Sunhome. Okay, second ring doesn't matter that much, probably. Don't have a um, Sundering Titan anymore. But we can try to infinite loop win the game. I think the most mana is to do this. Let's just see how much we have. This is 10. Come on, Garrick. Did find Garrick. So we have lots of mana. Now we need to find a Karn off the stirrings, I guess. Damn. If I've got enough stirrings, we win. Dank. Should go. Should be able to go chain veil into burst. Maybe not quite enough. Game two. Yeah, I think if we find Karn there, maybe an okay shape. Our ring draws also were kind of. I don't know. They're okay. Did find Garrick off the storm flashback. Oh, sorry. I keep forgetting this plan too. Stake and set were too fast. Try to do a game three if we get there. Um, definitely a good hand in a lot of matchups. Yeah, the signs do just not do enough. Um, I think I will surveil and hopefully we can dig for a Nykthos. Let me keep that, I think. What's me, Storm? Maybe walking into Besage you a little bit too much, but also if they have Besage you and they hit this over Leyline, maybe that's okay. This has to be among the worst matchups. Maybe. I, I Like, if we won the die roll last game, we win. Uh, we stumbled. We did win the die roll last time. I was mistaken. We, you know, had double tap land as our start, which, like, took us a turn too slow. Not that I'm saying that the matchup is favorable. But. Not going to be the worst. Can I flash back the storm? One, two, three, four. No. Big brick. Spread out the sprawls. They surveilled a Summoner's Pact into the graveyard, though. But then they just play uh, Caverns, maybe missing a Bounce Land. There's our Karn. 12, 13, 14. So I have enough to play Karn. Let, let's just flashback the Storm. It just seems like... This gives me a chance to win the game this turn. And if I don't, like, it's kind of hard to not find any more mana off this, to, like, at least go Karn coding. Okay. So, new Kiora. Untap the Nykthos. We have four, five, six, seven, ten mana available. So we could start off with Chain Veil, which is mana positive, I think, or at least mana 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, mana neutral. 
Car and Stone Brain seems safer. Yeah, Stone Brain seems okay. I was trying to think if I want to Chain Bail first. I can also untap the Chain Veil with Kiora. I can go Karn, Chain Veil, activate, but then I don't have enough mana to like really do anything. Yeah, I guess we'll just Stone Brain, Primeval Titan. I suppose it's on one, maybe. To have the sprawls. Okay. Oh, sorry. I don't. I, I <laughs> really, really, and we keep meaning to cut this. I think this is okay. Did I get it in time? I'm sorry, gamers. Still not feeling 100. percent Did did get the sideboard change done? I think this point this time. Okay. This hand is awesome. Uh, if we can stirrings into Nykthos. We get a basic forest, so we can't be besieged. Idea in the PowerPoint. I'm trying to get it done for tomorrow, but I don't know. It's it's kind of tough over here right now. We are getting besieged. Kind of helpful here. So probably just want to go Karn coding. And then leave the coding available to target uh, the bounce land. Have another Besaju. Okay. Do I also have Bounce Land plus Titan? Looks like no. Let's surveil. Keep that on top. So it has Cultivator Colossus, Engineer Explosives, and they also have the Bounce Land. One thing that could be really improved about Magic Online is this selection process. It has one dismember in the deck, which is kind of blank against me. All right, uh, yeah, let's just Stonebrain the Cultivator Colossus. Tech for Big J, Pioneer Roots. Mm. Interesting. So grab a Summoner's Pact. Packs for Dryad. Should draw Valakit as the mystery card. We have a game if you did. No. Okay, so let's play Leyline first. Yeah, the Stonebrain kill with Karn is really, really funny. I'm trying to think about playing Cure first. Let's go ahead and just Storm first. Okay, we'll take Nykthos, Winds of Teeth. All right, how much mana is this? This is six mana.
I'm gonna keep my Karns. Do this trick. Would El Gotro over be better? Board presence. For board presence, possible Garruk, Ultra Saiyan, Kyrogosha overgrowth. I mean, disrespectfully. <laughs> and also with no disdain or disrespect to you. Overgrowth is crazy good in this deck. It, it is it is so good with Kiora. It's so good with uh with um Garrick. It is it is it's it's honestly like extra copies of Nykthos. Like if you put an overgrowth on a forest, it's like you have a Nykthos with five devotion in play. Uh, and it, it just makes your Garricks and your Kioras so much more playable to have these. Oh yeah, the dismember, that would have been cool. Okay, how are we committing crimes? Mayhem Devil? Uh, need a land. Let's mulligan. Just got a mulligan real aggressive. Keep this. Likely going to go for triumphs here. Tybar Cycle gives infinite tokens with the miner. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the combos of Tyvar like, they just always seem so... So much, you know what I mean? It was okay. I don't know. Um, I think I probably would not play Pillage the Block, but I don't know what I would play over it. I haven't been thinking a lot about Pioneer or this archetype necessarily. Um, I... I think if my opponent has a counter spell, I just want them to counter the Scion. I want to be able to go overgrowth into Kiora. Overgrowth Trope gets basically when overgrowth through a while. Yeah, but the thing in modern is like like most most decks are not just gonna kill your old growth troll like they will in Pioneer or like you can't like block with it like you can in Pioneer. Like most a lot of decks are just gonna get to ignore the card. Also, oh, it, it doesn't become an overgrowth, it becomes a utopia sprawl. Like it it overgrowth lets it tap for an additional two. Uh, troll lets it tap 4-2. So it looks like we can probably resolve this stuff. You just also have so many sequences like this. Like, oh, whoops, sorry. Do need to move it around. But you have, you have a lot of sequences like this where you get to tap the overgrowth for mana immediately, which is so nice. Okay, to give Kiora, untap the land, overgrowth, overgrowth. It's just... So much advantage. And in fact, like even even like untapping this is just gonna be so much more mana than tapping Nykthos. It's gonna be plus five mana. And then Garrett can untap your overgrowth land and Nykthos, which is always so cool. Okay, so this will be relevant against my rings. They find a counter spell. They also have Leyline Binding mana available. Which all maybe the best possible. I'm going to go ahead and activate Nykthos now so I could hit another Nykthos off my storm. I'm going to not tap these yet because I could hit more uh, more overgrowths, Topia Sprawls. Can still tap the ring for card on my opponent's turn. So you find Garrick and Karn. Let's grab both of these. Do they have the binding and they've been sandbagging it? Looks like that is the case. Kind of surprising. Don't think, I think I'm still activating Garrick first. Maybe I could have activated Karn for Haywire Might. That would have been a nice heads up play. Alright, Storm into more mana. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six devotion. So still more mana to untap the Katria Trium. Six mana floating after this. Nice. It's it's so funny like how the rest of the original planeswalkers are just so out of date and so busted, but it's like if Garrick was legal in Pioneer, it would be like this huge, crazy game changer. Okay, uh, what are we getting? We have 15 mana available. I think it... Oh, I guess I don't have the second car. This is underneath this. Um, 
I should. I think we have to get chain. We can get Chainvale, right? We can get to go. We get to go Chainvale. Garrick, like so. So uh, it's kind of hard to articulate these lines. Better for me to show you. So I'm gonna go activate Chainvale, which allows me to use all these again. And this will basically let me activate Karn two more times this turn, or bas basically as many times as I want, or uh, limited with Kiora counters. But I can also Restorative Burst to get back more Kioras. Because what I can do is I, I get to untap my my Chain Veil to stack more activations of Karn. So let me just get uh, loyalty up this time. This turn. This time. So now I have. <laughs> I think I have two cure activations available at the moment. But I, I it's ba this is basically infinite mana once we get the the burst going if it should be it should be infinite okay maybe i just don't need to mess with this too much and i could just blister them Need 11 more mana to Ballista them. How many more card activations do I have? I may, I may run out of mana too fast, but I think... You can literally still bring opponent's entire deck. Yeah, we can. Uh, you know, we're of course limited by our clicks of Magic of Mine, especially with not having, you know, infinite devotion here. But I, I should just be able to maybe even just use this Kiora to untap the Triumph again and just have 40 mana. If this isn't 40 mana already. Okay, this, it is 40 mana already. Yeah, I, burst goes infinite, but again, the goal we want to get this game over with. We want to you know keep going. We don't want to just use all of our clock. You don't need infinite in magic. You need twenty damage. Fuck. Well, I guess I could have played around that. So I have another cure activation. And now I can't burst and get back Kiora. So how do I not get days in doing here? Tin loyalty Garrick. Stonebrain days in doing. Draw the bliss. I can't because there's Narset. So I don't know how many more activate how many times I can activate this. Yeah, that was my last time. Funny funny game. Okay, only one day's undoing in the list, but again, really we just gotta stay away from it. So we can ring draw on their turn. Jar Ballista. To find another counter spell. Two counter spells up. This is uh, such a beefy Garrick. Wait, my opponent didn't subtlety. I guess I I guess I stormed into the other planeswalkers. So. I think I'm just gonna cityscape level to unlock my ring first. Usually plays pretty good against a counter spell. Okay, good enough to concede too. Yeah, I could also uh, yeah I could I could chain veil to just make a bunch of beasts with Garrick, which is funny. All right, game two. 
Oh, sorry, we, we're two and one this league, right? Yeah, I have to update the record. Doing a sorcery, so you know that if they get you, Drew the Bliss and nothing else, it only should be counter spell or guy reach. I mean, it's subtlety too. Even this. Runs on the mold of six. Any surveillers in the chat? No binding to play around. I think maybe if they were representing binding, we could have got a try them here. So next turn we can go... I guess we can't untap Nykthos and activate it with Garrick next turn. Okay. Counter spells it's very pretty good. Would love to make some beast tokens this game. Four cards in their hand, four mana. And a binding my overgrowth. Okay, pretty good play. Three cards in their hand, two mana up. Yeah, I'm gonna Garrick minus one, I think. Assuming it resolves. Force pitch period in. Finds a lore and revealed, and then uses it to hit their land drop. Get in Dotha Triome. It's cost four at the moment. So, yeah, I can't play Leyline, then activate Nykthos still. I can go Leyline plus Scion. I can go Garrick plus, Garrick plus and play Scion. Sounds okay to me. Only saw one day isn't doing last game. There's there it is. Let's go to game two. Or game three. Nice draw. Nice draw. On the play. I love those four drops. From the play, the game, it's like they just can't counterspell the Scion. <laughs> then they bounce the ley line and then the Teferi kills the, the the Scion kills the Teferi. It's also different. Hopefully we have a similarly good draw on the play here. Um yeah, I can't cannot mulligan. Double ley line, land Nykthos. Hopefully we can surveil into another mana source. Cool hand. Would you bottom a scion here? I think I would buy bottom a scion. White kind of sees you to solid dance top deck. Not really, brother. My opponent's going to have seven cards. I'm going to have one card in my hand. I, I feel like I'm just super happy. They, they also get to draw step days and doing to stop me from drawing even a single card there. Yeah, there's a sign. I'm, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bottom it, funny enough. And I'm happy to see this Nick, though, since you can legend rule them. But yeah, but they, I also don't even get a card next turn. Regular land would be nice too, of course. Well, you got a counter spell opponent. How about a force of negation? Uh, Ginger Raid? If I'm saying that right. Thank you for the seven months. Long time. Appreciate you. I think we'll bait with the Scion. 
We lost to Titan. We also beat Titan once. Okay, not the best storm, but giving us a lot of mana for next turn is obviously good. Casting two rings on turn three is pretty cool. Ginger raid? Wait, we got a raid from Ginger? We're missing something. Okay, 12 mana. Pretty convenient to have two storms at hand, huh? Kind of rude of my opponent to take a ring away from me, so let's get that back. Play mana positive ley line. Quad ley lines in play. This maybe the no, I must have done that in the I must have done that in the domain deck, the enchantress deck. But it gives us the GGs. Okay, three and one after losing the Titan in round two. Let's get a four one prediction going. I do, I do think this is the best version of Mono Green Devotion I've ever played in Modern. Uh, I've played a lot of bad versions of Mono Green Devotion, though. Painful Hand to Mulligan. Any land with the stirrings, the sprawl. Ugh. Okay, it looks like Leyline to go pack is here to stay, though. Yeah, it's not keeping. Cool, base for Tooth and Nail deck. Yeah, I mean, I, I would encourage anyone to not register the card Tooth and Nail, but you can do whatever you want. Maybe stirrings into a scion for turn two. Go turn two. Uh, scion, turn three, ring. Yeah, there is a similar tooth and nail card, but it, it doesn't it doesn't that card you have to can't have the stuff in your hand. Love the vids, grief scam. That's okay. <laughs> Hi, Spike, big fan. <laughs> Got a lot of good top decks. Scion. I voted no as soon as I saw Love the Vids. Wise. Seems like you've been around. Voidwalker? Uh oh. Still Scion. Awesome top deck. Lots lots of good draws. Got a lot of mana coming up soon. Can't quite cast that one next turn. So I guess I guess I'll need to respond to a blood moon. They have Ragavan also. Wait, this is two turn clock. So we have to draw a ring or scion. Brutal. Stirrings into one of those. Yeah, we can't quite go off with Cure here. Well, a game two. Did not cast a spell. Love the videos. On the play for game two. Card matchup to Mulligan in, but you just have to keep a better hand than this. Turn three, bunch of Scions. Let's go to five. Not a very good five. Maybe she kept the six, but at least in my off-stream testing, I'm just like, mold to five, don't keep mediocre. Sixes has been paying off. Needle the One Ring. Maybe draw a card off of our Scion. So Overgrowth would let me Storm. Fetchland would let me Scion. Would a Leyline let me Scion? I guess I'd be a little short. Mana short.
Playland Science is tough for them to beat. Let's hopefully it stays in my hand for a turn. I think if they had a discard spell, they'd play it pre Dothy, right? Never mind. What? They've hit like an edict in their hand? Yep. Love the vids. Love the vids. I think I plus so I could cast a storm that I top deck and then I it I can just cash it in for beast next turn also. They have three cards in their hand still. Not the best matchup, I guess. Scion is still probably good enough. Or stirrings into Scion. Ring unfortunately needled. Oh boy. Still stirrings into Scion or Scion. Could get Bales, get Bales out. And maybe not. How did they how is this their last card? Like what the fuck? <laughs> Big fan, love the it's okay. Uh three two, um. Can we sign if the Leyland came down first? Uh, as long as you have a basic, yeah. Because you still have five domain. I'm <laughs> sorry.